Oh, jeez, that's that's a very interesting starting position you would put me in game. I can't say I'm quite the equestrian, but uh, look at that view. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Got my cannons right here. My howitzers are going to be out of range, so going to have to limber those guys up. I might even keep them back for the time being. Probably just going to crack down one or both of these walls, and then I can move my howitzers up and start killing some dudes. Cavalry isn't going to do much. Oh yeah, I got some demi cannons too. Okay, these should be able to hit both walls. That's good. This wall will crumble pretty quickly. Just looking to see if they left any artillery outside of the walls. They did leave a few pieces outside the walls, but uh, let's look at the angle they have. These guys can shoot at me. These guys are just <laughs> being idiots. So maybe I'll send cavalry to take these guys out when they're not supported by more infantry. Maybe I'll just leave them alone for the time being. All right, just gonna fast forward things a little bit. I know the game doesn't like it when I fast forward during siege battles, so. Cinematic. Cannonballs. Choo 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 choo. Yeah, these walls will crumble pretty easily. I got three units of artillery. So. I'm doing alright. Gonna move these uh, howitzers this way though, because I don't want them to be able to get hit by this artillery. Because regular foot artillery has greater range than howitzers. Which makes sense, actually, because um, howitzers fire in an arc, whereas regular cannons fire just in a straight line. So they're probably covering about the same distance, just the howitzer does it in an arc, straight line, more distance in a straight line. I don't know, that's just something I figured out. Two thirds through the way with this wall. And then I'm gonna be marching my pretty little foot soldiers with their. With, or, these guys don't have pretty little uniforms, but, uh. These guys got pretty uniforms. Look at that. Look at you got some nice little stripes going on. Nice green jackets.
Alright, you guys go get him. Tear down that wall. <laughs> yeah, that's Russian history, right? <laughs> Now all I got to do is have my general named Gorbachev. Awesome. Man, that that thing crumbled. Jeez, look at all that smoke. Totally obliterated that. gonna move these guys out of here because cavalry doesn't do really anything when you're attacking in a siege battle. Let's see, I'll move my guys over here. I don't think they'll be able to get hit. At least I hope not. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna use my horses. Just cause, just cause I don't like that artillery. It's giving me some weird looks. And my game's gonna start slowing down. Just cause, I don't know, this game doesn't like siege battles. And I've had this problem, it's not just because I'm recording, I've had this problem before. So, if I have to, I'm just gonna cut till when it starts, you know, clearing up. So hopefully the suicide charge pays off. I don't think their cannons have hit anybody so far. Had a few close calls, but I'm good. Man, these guys shouldn't be able to get another shot off. Which is good for my cavalry. Eat them up, boys. These guys are pretty tough. They're fighting all the way to the last man. But that's cool, I'm gonna destroy this. I only lost one horse so far. I 
I wish I had some light infantry. I'd be able to outrange these guys. Okay, I'm going to walk these guys this way. That way they won't get too tired. Then walk them this way. And then attack this artillery from the back. Oh, is the ar organ gun can already shoot at me? No, it's not. <laughs> it's been shooting for some reason into this wall. And I don't know why. Maybe it's been trying to hit my horses. That's funny. Alright, now once these howitzers get into position, I will start making a few casualties for these guys. They have neatly bunched themselves up, so all I need is to get a good shot in, and I'm going to kill a whole bunch of people. Uh-oh. That ain't good. I should target these guys. These guys are pretty tired, but too bad. I need to get them to stop these guns from firing. Howitzers kill people. You guys killed some people. Way to go. I knew you could do it. Ooh. Ooh. Those guns are so scary. And I should have... Yep, there goes that wall. Awesome. Ooh. Yeah, these guys can't take much more of that. They can't afford to stay like that for very long. Alright, I'm gonna get these these guys to stop firing. They've done they've done their job. Much appreciated. I might be able to just walk guys around this side, who knows? Oh, that one hurt. Yeah, I'll hold down this side with line infantry and then come in from the sides with Cossacks. And I'll keep my Strelsky in the middle for the time being. Oh. 
But right now, I'm content with just shelling these guys. And apparently, they are too. <laughs> Uh oh. That's not good. My horses gave it their all, but I guess that was just one too many crewmen. These guys came back from routing, what do you know? Well, I'll take care of that. Yeah, we already killed, I'd say, a good number. There's a bunch of dead bodies here. These guys are still standing, but uh, they can't keep us up for long. Looks like they're just gonna let me march straight on in. Fine by me. And now I know better than to try and take these walls, because my guys aren't gonna do anything. They won't be able to shoot down from these walls just because they'll just glitch out and they'll have no idea what to do. I can try taking these buildings. That would be nice. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'll have a guy in here, and then one guy in this building, one guy in that building. Oh, we got some, some guys want to mess. They want to play in the big leagues now. Guys want to play rough? Okay. <laughs> like I'm about to quote Scarface or something. No, I'm not going to say say hello to my little friend. I just they they want to play rough. I'm gonna turn off fire at will, I'm just shooting my own guys in the back. These Strelsky though, they're gonna come in handy, that's for sure. Alright guys, chop them up. Have fun, do your thing. Yeah, these guys aren't too tough. They got chopped up, but they'll live to fight another day. I wish the kill animations for these Burdishas were a bit cooler. I'm not, I don't mean like, hey, you gotta show him like hacking the guy's head off, but every kill looks like he's, oh, oh, look at that guy, got stabbed in the chest. Alright. So maybe I should just pull back. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You guys, go ahead. Open fire. 
Oh, whoa. Wrong guys, wrong guys. Shell these guys. It's okay, Strelsky. Don't worry, you'll be fine. These guys will probably come back from routing. They're still more than half strength. Oh, I <laughs> forgot to uh, send these guys out. And here comes the mob of angry dudes with pitchforks. Did they have pitch? Yeah, they got pitchforks. Awesome. Yep, and there they go. When you guys want to grow up and become farmers instead of soldiers, let me know. These farms are going to need some new workers when I take over. Okay, Strelsky, welcome back. I'll take better care of you guys next time, don't worry. Alright, I'm going to run my guys in here. Walk these dudes up here to support them. I'm going to tell my tar my uh, artillery to target this ground right here. That way, if these dudes end up running towards me, they won't act I won't actually shoot my men by accident. This should be an easy victory. Man, that fire just sounds like tasty fire, like some sort of like firewood grill or whatever. I don't know. Mmm, listen to that fire. Makes me hungry. <laughs> These guys are going to fight to the last man because they're inside of the fort. guys run over this way. I don't know how my guys are going to be able to defend this. Oh, are these windows? Yeah, they're windows. Cool. Yeah, my guys should be really well protected in here. They're going to be well protected, they'll have a 360 degree firing arc. It's going to be good. Trust me, you guys will like it. Okay, I think now's the time to just send in my line infantry. The howitzers have done enough. Now's the time for good old fashioned rifles to do the trick. I'll let these guys fire off one more volley. Alright, it's cutting it close. Why 
are these guys doing? Go ahead, kill these guys. Just stand in there? <laughs> yep, these guys are probably not going to take any casualties at all. They're just going to butcher them. That'll be great. See, my guys will be firing by rank now. Check it. Beautiful. It's going to make my guys so much more lethal. Now check this out. Open fire. First rank kneel, second rank fire. So yeah, my guys are going to be a lot more deadly. No doubt about that. What are you guys doing? Oh, he fell down. What an idiot. I don't know why no one stabbed him. He sort of just fell on his back and they're just kind of cool with it. You know, you can kill these guys anytime you want. They're just sort of bullying him. They're just pushing him on the ground, you know, kicking dirt in their face. So, having fire by rank, I can have my guys compacted all close like this, and they're not going to lose much of their firing power. And it looks like these guys have <laughs> just, just ran away. They're like, oh, I'm out of here. But you know what, Strelsky, don't let him run. Go after him. Teach him a thing or two about a thing or two. Oh man. You guys better run. There's a bunch of dudes chasing you with axes. Those, those guys behind you just died. You should axe them if it hurt. Ho ho! Another axe pun. Alright. We only got one unit left. These dudes, get inside that building. You guys earned a little R&R. &R. These guys are up on a wall, but I think my guys will be able to take them out pretty, pretty nicely. Whoa! Never mind. I thought this flag was like back here, and some guys were attacking my artillery. Maybe I need to be a little bit farther back.
No, I still don't think I could hit him. Strelski are chasing him down. We killed a few. You guys can walk back. You had you had your fun. Killed these guys over here. If I can't hit these guys, I'll just go and capture the town square. But, I don't know, I like to play with my food. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to kill these guys, I won't get a good angle on them. Whatever. How long do I have to hold this? Two minutes. Alright, cool. Go into a victory square formation. Now out. Calisthenics, people. Calisthenics. We're building unity and teamwork and all that jazz. Alright, well that was a pretty nice battle. Everything sort of went as I planned it would. And now we're going to have Istanbul, most importantly. And then there will only be one more region left of the Ottoman Empire. Okie dokie, only lost 134 dudes. Now we have Istanbul. They are going to hate me for the longest time. I'm probably going to, no matter what, I'm going to have some rebellions going down. So... I guess all I can hope to do is just, uh, just sort of hold the fort for now. If anything, these rebels are probably going to give me more trouble than, uh, the actual, what you call it, than the actual battle for Istanbul. Man, this guy got so many command traits. He got all this in one turn. This is his first battle, and everyone's like, Oh man, you're the best! Thumbs up! Alright! <laughs> nah. Well, it's 1720. I have no money at all. But I got a crap ton of land. Got my eyes set on Anatolia, which at the moment is defended by just a bunch of riffraff. <laughs> and all's going well, so I think this would be a great place to leave off this recording session's close to three hours long, so I got a bunch to pump out. And uh, so, yeah, look forward to the rest of this campaign. I'm also continuing my Moore's Let's Play. You should check that out, too. So, yeah, that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.